welcome to 10 Minutes Tuesday. My name is Sharita, daughter of Yah. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yah. This is only temporary. Good things is on the way. Shalom, children of Yah. The beginning of man. Genesis 1, verse 27. So Elohim created man in his image. In the image of Elohim created he him. Male and female created he them. Instruction. Genesis 2, verse 17. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Yah gave them instruction not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They didn't listen. They listened to the serpent. Genesis 3, verses 3 through 6. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for Elohim doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave it also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. They got put out of the garden, that beautiful garden, because they sin against Yah. They rather believe the serpent than Yah. That is how it is today. Romans 6 verse 12. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof, the earthly and the heavenly. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 47 through 56. The first man is of the earth, earthly. The second man is Yahshua from heaven. As is the earthly, such are they also that are earthly. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yah. Neither doeth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be risen and corruptible, and we shall be changed. For the corruptible must put on incorruption, and the mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death, sin, and the strength of sin, the law. All things are made new. Good things is coming. Second Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any man be in the Messiah, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Colossians 3 verse 10 and have put on the new, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Ephesians two fifteen, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments, pertaining in ordinance for to make in himself of twain one new man so make peace revelations 21 verse 1 and 2 
and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Yah out of heaven, preparing as a bride adorned for her husband. The Garment of Adam and Eve, Genesis 3, verse 21. Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did Yah Elohim make coats of skin and clothe them. After Yah has made us in his image, we were beautiful until we have sinned in the garden. We became corrupt. Yah put on us coats of skin in this temporary body. We have pain. It became wrinkled with spots and blemish, all type of diseases because of sin came into the world by the earthly corruptible and by the heavenly incorruptible. The garment of Yahshua the Messiah, the Holy Spirit, became part of our body. We became one in the Messiah. Colossians 2, verse 17, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body of the Messiah. 1 Corinthians 12 and 12, for as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is the Messiah. Galatians 3, verse 27, For as many of you as have been baptized into the Messiah have put on the Messiah. A point. Sin has torn the world apart. It has separated men from Yah. Sin has torn the world apart. It has separated men from Yah. It started in the garden where the serpent deceived man. So sin has torn the world apart. It has separated man from Yah. Yah told Noah to build an ark. He told Noah it's going to rain. Man became corrupt and wicked and cruel in their heart. It has grieved Yah in his heart. We were alienated and set apart because sin has torn the world apart. It has separated man from Yah. Man. Yahshua came and put everything back in order. Good thing is on the way. Amen.